So a question you may now have is, so where do I manage all my cloud services? Well, that's what the Oracle Cloud Console is for. It's a web-based interface for managing your application deployment. You use this to activate your services, add administrative contacts and users for overall cloud admin and for monitoring of notifications. You can monitor system status directly in the console. You can request changes and manage your application instance. Note that the cloud console is not where you actually run your business and process your transactional business data. This is strictly the kind of overhead environment to manage your subscription related services. The Oracle console, the Oracle cloud console, provides access to other consoles with more particular functions, such as an infrastructure console and an applications console. So if you have application cloud subscriptions, you'll use the applications console to create service instances, also known as pods, and manage your services there. If you have access to the infrastructure console in addition to the applications console, then you may need from time to time to switch between them depending on which services you're looking to monitor. Again, the Oracle Cloud Console is not the application that's used to run the business and process your transactional data. After you subscribe to Oracle Cloud Application Service, the cloud account administrator must activate your order by adding the new service to your account. And for this, of course, you have to go through the welcome uh, message that says add your services to an Oracle cloud account. And if you can't find your welcome email, you can refer to I can't find my welcome email. What should I do lesson in this series? Once the cloud account administrator has activated the service, you can log in through the cloud portal into the cloud console. In the notes below this slide, the URL for the cloud portal is listed, but it's pretty straightforward. It's cloud.oracle.com. By default, when you first sign into your new cloud account, no cloud services are visible on the applications console until you create a service instance. Note that only services that you have access to are shown on the dashboard. And you can customize what appears on your dashboard. Before we look into various details of the cloud portal, it's recommended that you set up your preferences such as default language, time zone, and the notification delivery method. These preferences play an important role in how you receive the notifications and the details included in those notifications. For example, start and end time of maintenance in notifications will depend on the time zone selected in your preferences. And you can select for notification options, SMS or email, and so on. After you click the cloud service in the active applications, you're directed to its overview section. This gives you details such as the data center region where your service is hosted, your cloud account name, and service start and end dates, customer service identification details, specific service details such as instance name, who are the admins for different services, as well as the URL for those services. And other tabs will show you billing metrics, resource quotas, and business metrics of your cloud services. The document section gives you downloadable service usage metrics on a regular basis and provides various security reports that you might need for your auditing purposes. The status section is related to service status and helps you monitor the status of the service for a month or for a year, which will also help you to determine the total uptime of the service for a specific period. The Quick Actions area is on the Get Started tab for getting access to the Infrastructure Console. This area provides related access to related training and documentation resources. So you can log into the cloud account, click Infrastructure at the top of the page, and then you can scroll down to the bottom of the page to see more information.
you can also ask Oracle within the cloud portal to chat. This is a live cloud chat where you can enter your questions with immediate assistance. If for some reason you're unable to reach an Oracle support representative due to high chat volumes, then you can leave a message in the chat window and the team will get back to you as soon as possible. Alternatively, you can always raise a service request or SR in My Oracle Support and your SR will be routed to the cloud support team. You can also check out how do I work with customer support later in this series for more information about getting help.